from the presentation of the first one on some innovations that they are currently in the This is solution in mitigating the current issues and problems in the agriculture industry, including the not limited to diseases, climate change, and uh, including gender uh, inclusion, uh, gender equality and social inclusion. So we are also uh, extending our uh, you know uh, activity beyond the region. For example, we have supported the launch of the regional health network in the African region uh, that is in both the northern and southern Africa. This is in collaboration with the World Organization for Animal Health, or WOM. So this conference, with a theme of uh, Blue Revolution for Health People, Economy, and Environment, is very, very handy and in line with the common programs and activities at NOAA. This conference will provide a platform for all important stakeholders in both the agriculture and the fisheries sectors to present and discuss the most recent innovations, trends, as well as challenges and other issues that we are currently facing in the industry. This includes diseases, climate change impact, food safety, official care, and of course, the gender non-virus. So this meeting, aside from this, this meeting will also present opportunities for international networking and collaboration for sustainable, for the sustainability and transformation of the agriculture and the fisheries industry in the region. So again, on behalf of the Network of Cultural Centers in Asia Pacific, or NAHA, I wish you all a fruitful uh, meeting, conference, discussion, and a pleasant stay here in this beautiful uh, city of Chikwan in Nepal. So to end, I have to say that uh, this in Nepali, Diri Diri from Thank you very much. Thank you. 
two systems that support uh, the livelihoods of more than 600 people world, 600 million people worldwide. Its sector, uh, uh, sector is valued at more than 427 billion dollars worldwide. And when you think about the fact that by 2050, global population will reach 9.8 uh, billion, uh, we will have to feed 9.8 billion. And with the uh, negative impacts coming from uh, climate change, uh, pollution, loss of biodiversity, this is all going to negatively affect crop and livestock production. People are looking at uh, aquatic food systems and also, also especially agriculture as uh, the next viable source of protein and bioavailable micronutrients. Uh, so in that context, in this uh, uh, conference and the contribution of aquatic food systems to uh, agriculture uh, agri 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 system transformation uh, and uh, food and nutrition security is of vital importance. I think the general secretary also spoke about the relevance uh, and the importance of uh, agriculture a sector in the fall. Uh, it accounts to more than 80% of fishery uh, production uh, and uh, its contribution uh, to uh, the uh, uh, GDP, agricultural GDP uh, is uh, growing and there is great uh, potential for, uh, for the growth. At the uh, corporate level, uh, FAO, as I think the uh, DG uh, mentioned, through our blue transformation, road, uh, 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 blue transformation roadmap, we are supporting our uh, member countries for the promotion of sustainable fisheries management and sustainable agriculture intensification and management uh, through the uh, provision of uh,
So these are some of the uh, initiatives where we're trying to integrate uh, not just uh, you know, our support to uh, enhancing uh, agriculture production and productivity, but combining that with maximizing uh, investment catalyzation, youth mobilization, empowerment, and of course uh, promotion of uh, innovation. And uh, we are also committed uh, to providing
further expansion by integrating friendly research, traditional knowledge, and modern technology to Nepal can become a model of sustainable agriculture development in the region. While the progress of the blue revolution has been promising, we must recognize that the challenges that lie ahead. Climate change is one of the most pressing issues affecting water temperatures, sea levels, and fish migration patterns. We must develop climate resilient agriculture system to mitigate these impacts. Moreover, ensuring that small scale fish farmers are not left behind in this revolution is critical. Equitable distribution of resources, access to modern technologies, and proper market linkages are key to improving growth in, sector, in this sector. International cooperation, such as the discussions we are having today, uh, will play a pivotal role in sharing knowledge, fostering innovations, and creating partnerships for a sustainable future. Uh, the true revolution is not just about increasing production, it is about doing so in harmony with nature. Sustainable agriculture practices including integrated multi tropic agriculture, recirculating system, and ecosystem based management must be promoted. These methods not only increase yield but also minimize environment to impact, conserve biodiversity, and ensure the long term viability of fishery resources. We must also embrace technological innovations such as the use of artificial intelligence, data analytics and biotechnology in agriculture to improve fish health, optimize feeding and reduce waste. These innovations will help us maximize production efficiency while maintaining ecological balance. Uh, the blue revolution is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to harness natural resources for the greater good. However, this power comes uh, responsibility, responsibility to future generations to the environment and to those who rely on fisheries and agriculture for their livelihoods. Let us use this conference as a launching pad for collaboration, research, and policy advocacy that the future blue revolution becomes a more model of sustainable development. As we must move forward, let us play to work together across nations and sectors to advance sustainable agriculture and fisheries into food security and promote the health of our, our, our aquatic system. I wish you all for the successful conference that can that will come with valid deliberations in the next two days. Thank you.